Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. So I was looking at an article. It says Hyundai will test 500 mile hydrogen fuel cell semis in California. This was written in 2021. Uh, these things are being deployed already, these hydrogen trucks. And I wanted to kind of step through uh, this right here, let you guys know what's going on. It says Hyundai will test its, I don't know how to say that name, fuel cell class eight semi trucks in California for two publicly funded projects, the automaker announced Monday, based on a design that debuted in Switzerland last year in 2020. Uh, the trucks tested in the United States will have a range of about 500 miles and a maximum com uh, gross com combination weight of about 82,000 pounds, Hyundai said. In 11 months of service, the first 46 units have covered 620,000 miles on the Swiss roads, the automaker noted. Under one project called NorCal Zero, Hyundai plans to deploy 30 trucks with fleet operators beginning in the second quarter of 2023. Hyundai claims this will be the largest deployment of hydrogen Class A trucks in the U.S. thus far. Hyundai and its partners will build a hydrogen fueling station in Oakland, California, capable of handling 50 trucks with an average of 30 kilograms of hydrogen per Hyundai. So one thing I wanted to touch on here is they're already deploying hydrogen trucks. And I was looking at uh, North China. There was an article about North China here. And they were talking about their battery electric vehicles in a lot of their trucks and cars in Northern China where it's very cold. What they did is they actually removed the battery electric vehicles because the weather was too cold for them. The batteries were not functioning and operating uh, very well. And what did they do? They put in hydrogen. Now, we're starting to put in more and more hydrogen in relationship to battery electric vehicles for these larger uh, type trucks, uh, probably for airplanes eventually. So what I'm getting interested in is hydrogen uses a fuel cell. In the fuel cells, they use platinum. Platinum is my preferred metal because not only is it cheap in relationship to all the other precious metals on a ratio basis, which means that I can buy the most for my money in comparison to history ever. It's also used in copious amounts in these fuel cells. And if they ramp this fuel stuff up, if fuel cells and hydrogen is superior to battery electric vehicles for whatever reasons they are, they're going to ramp up the use of platinum. Now, platinum, 2006, that was the peak production year. 2006, and it's been declining slowly ever since. Can we increase production over 6 million ounces per year? I don't know. I don't know. 6 million ounces, not very much. Uh, the demand, if hydrogen start to blow up, is going to far eclipse the, I think, the production capacity the world has, which means prices are going to rocket higher. So let's get back in here. We got a couple other things in here. It says the NorCal project will be funded by 22 million in grants from the California Air Resource Board. Uh, there's a separate 12 month pilot program scheduled to begin in August. We'll see two fuel cell trucks operate between warehouses in Southern California. This project is mainly funded by the US Environmental Protection Agency, along with $500,000 grant from the South Coast Air Quality Management District. Toyota has been a leader in transitioning its fuel cell techs to semis, but so far its effort has has focused on big rigs for shorter distance port duty. Also in Southern California, where a handful of its project portal prototypes have been. So Toyota's doing the same thing. Uh, years ago, Nikola claimed plans to roll out thousands of hydrogen commercial trucks in the US, including a class eight model, but so far none have been delivered. Hyundai may not be the largest fleet in the US for long. However, General Motors and Navistar Earlier this year, announced plans to put 2,000 semis, also offering a 500-mile range, into duty starting in 2024. Hyundai is also working on heavy-duty trucks that pack both fuel cell and battery electric tech. An upgraded version of, however you say that, fuel cell announced earlier this year as a pair of 90-kilowatt fuel stacks plus a 72-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Hyundai plans to deliver 1,600 of these trucks to Europe by 2025. So that's the article there. Uh, I think that hydrogen, Japan is setting up a hydrogen economy. Uh, they're trying to implement it as, as quickly as possible. 
Uh, they're talking about gaining this hydrogen economy, gaining pretty good ground by 2030. So what we first do is we first start seeing these types of things being deployed, tried out, tested. And then we see battery electric vehicles, if they fail and they go to something else, they're going to go to the superior product. Hopefully, hydrogen is that superior product. Uh, and if it's a superior product and we start ramping up hydrogen, whatever it may be, trucks, planes, doesn't matter what it is, uh, I think that the platinum, uh, platinum demand will increase quite steadily. Now, at the same time, we are increasing the loadings in catalytic converters to reduce emissions. We've been packing these things with palladium, and palladium is very expensive. Platinum is a substitute to palladium, and over time, platinum will be bought out in higher quantities than palladium as that transitions and substitutes out. Uh, and usually that happens at about two times the price. Palladium has to be two times the price of platinum, uh, and it is that uh, at, the, at this time. Uh, another thing, if I can remember all this stuff, <laughs> um, it just slipped my mind. Wow. But but looking at, okay, going back, hydrogen economy, Japan, they're ramping that up. Uh, there's other areas in the world that are also ramping up hydrogen as their economies. There's some in the Middle East. Uh, there's some uh, all over the world that are that are testing these things. And if they if it gains greater adoption, which I'm hoping our platinum investments are only going to have greater demand. It's the icing on the cake uh, for platinum. So uh, if you guys like this type of content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.